back with another custom ROM review and after a long time I got a mind blowing custom ROM and which is amazing and this is called AICP custom ROM and AICP means Android Ice Cold project and this is the lock screen you guys can see and I'm using here a live wallpaper by default you guys will get that live wallpaper and which is moving you guys can see just follow the screen and it's moving now let me show you the home screen and also I'm using here that live wallpaper AICP is just amazing so I recommend you guys if you watch my previous videos like ethereal OS and then I did a review of afterlife projects and this one is really perfect among the three custom ROM so let's get started first of all let me begin from the setting this is setting UI as usual and this is based on Android 13 for Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 as well and here is the about section just have a look Android version 13 and AICP custom ROM Android security update kernel used here lineage OS and which is my favorite that's why you guys will get uh, more smoothness in user interface now let me show you settings systems and gesture system navigation and just enable the haptic feedback if you want to get haptics when using uh, the gest gesture then swipe to screenshot adaptive playback which is perfectly working then as usual password and accounts google services privacy and security let's see what we have here just fingerprint options we don't have any app lock system but you guys can use any third party app as we have default launcher as pixel launcher so that's why we don't have extra customization on launcher then we have accessibility and wallpapers live wallpaper section is available wallpaper and style you guys can directly switch from here okay let me show you the live wallpapers which is only AICP tiles only one is available and wallpaper and style just go to change wallpaper and you will get device wallpaper this one and you guys can see the preview and this is the live wallpaper you guys can select then we have display here all regular customizations adaptive brightness extra dim option lock screen and double tap to wake is working perfectly I checked and prevent accidental wake up then we have storage battery here is the user interface as usual then we have notifications you guys can customize it according to your choice now let's talk about the main thing and which is AICP extras and I recommend you guys to root your device then you will be able to uh, use safety net pass method because by default this uh, ROM doesn't pass safety net first of all we have some keys configure keys a long press power button for power menu whatever you need you guys will get here and here we have the status bar quick pull down double tap to sleek and then we have a clock logo whatever you need you guys will get all the necessary customizations use old mobile signal style icon tuner show data disable icons battery customizations if you don't find battery percentage then click on battery icon then inside of that section you guys will get battery icon style which is portrait circle whatever and battery percentage as usual and battery bar customization as well you guys can do that as well status bar network activity and which is perfectly working when you are connected to internet and it will work when you have a active connection and it's perfectly working which is called network activity or network monitor whatever you guys can say and colored icons show wi-fi standard icon which is four that's all in status bar then we have the notification here heads up is lighting you guys can customize it the color which is great 
then clear all notification button and blink incoming calls if you need flashlight other things then we have quick settings vertical layout you guys can customize this okay style rotate flip x y whatever let me show you that if you click on it it will do like this this is the animation then we have the interpolator and overshot I am sele I selected already here these are the animation and duration super fast and they show the data uses and which is data uses let me show you that our total portion is here and you guys can set your name here total internet uses since boot after first boot you guys will get that uh, data uses and a mobile data and a Wi-Fi whatever you are using you guys will get that which is really good and the user interface is really mind-blowing and the position of the brightness slider other things custom footer text then we have lock screen customizations as usual what we have then whether I already did customizations on lock screen you guys can uh, already watch that and theming icon pack can be changed just like this and corners now you guys can select rounded or whatever some available and then we have the form section here some uh, minor collections are there opacity can be changed and we have here another thing which is uh, a screen of animation and toast animation and this is the animation of select power menu animation you guys can select then we have other UI tweaks uh, system behavior which is good audio panel location and a screenshot sound if you need that then we have extensions and which is very very important thing you guys can easily block any kind of applications advertisements okay block ads with a modified host files okay turn off to use third-party solutions you don't need to use any third-party solutions if you enable this one which is really great and these are all these are the features of that custom room and all these are mind-blowing things and the room is really very very smooth and one important things uh, now let me talk about the gcam all kind of gcam will not work in that custom room so i found two and i will uh, provide that to gcam and which is here available that too is perfectly working and i will drop that link in description you guys can use that 2g cam one is older and one is newer but agc g cam and which is uh, not working sometimes it crashes or sometimes it works now it's working i don't know why okay let me capture a photo and now it's working okay then there is no issues in using zcam you guys can easily use that zcam and i already made video on it and these are perfect zcam and which is working this is 7.3 version also working fine and this is stable samim zcam uh, also perfectly working front cam and back cam all are working now let me show you some screenshots Here is the CPU throttling results, which is 87% uh, to the max performance. And this, this is really, really good. And the Geekbench scores also mind blowing. Uh, which is 264 single core and multi core double one to eight. So you guys can play games without any problem. Now let's talk about the dialer we have call recorder or not yes we have by default call recording option just go to sound and vibration and enable auto call recording and you are good to go now let me show you one important thing which is google map is working or not yes this is perfectly working google map also perfectly working now the main thing is yes night safety net doesn't pass by default so that's why you need to follow my process i already made video on it just uh, root your device and follow the screen op uh, screen uh, options which I already showed you guys 
and let's talk about the YouTube and uh, YouTube first of uh, first time if you open the YouTube and you play some music or some videos then you will face some problem like uh, um, a black screen but keep using for some times and it will be fixed automatically so don't worry about it no issues with that and this is a vanilla build this is not a gfs build and you guys will get that gfs i am using here uh, link will be in description so you guys can check that out i already showed you cpu startling and all necessary things and if i miss anything just let me know in the comment section below i will let you guys know so thank you for watching